love having windows in my bathrooms because it just makes the lighting so good anyway hi good morning welcome back to another vlog i am very excited because i think this is going to be well i still need to clean my old apartment so there'll probably be one more vlog of like me officially saying goodbye and then turning in my keys and all that but like i think by the end of this vlog all of my stuff will be fully moved in here but it is currently monday today is my day off, technically, I kind of got caught up and I'm like a little bit ahead on my social media work. So I just made a video live this morning, answered some emails, got that little bit of stuff I needed to do out of the way, straightened up a little bit, because that is one thing that I've been doing throughout this move because I had so much time. I had a little over a month where I had like leases to both this new apartment and my old one. I was able to take my time with the move, so I was just bringing car loads of stuff over at a time, and I made a rule for myself in order to keep my sanity and make it all go as smoothly as possible. I wouldn't go back and get more stuff until I put away everything that I brought over. So I've just been gradually unpacking and organizing as I go, and it's made the whole thing so much easier. So I had a few boxes, that I still needed to unpack. So I did that this morning. So I'm getting ready right now. My plan is to stop at Target. I have a Target pickup. It's just like one little decor thing that I ordered online, you'll see. And then I'm gonna head to the old apartment. I have some last few boxes there that I had packed up last time. I'm just gonna grab those, fill up the car, hopefully, because there's not too much there. So hopefully I will get all the boxes and the small things packed up in my car and then all that will be left is big furniture and even that it's not a lot and then I have a U-Haul reserved for later this week my friends are going to help me get the big furniture and by this weekend that is going to be it I'm going to be like fully moved in here and this place will be complete so that's what I got planned for this morning and then when we get back I'll fill you in on everything else that's going on the rest of today and later this week Okay, so I am back at the old apartment. I had a few boxes over here that I had left from last time. I brought all of those down. Now I just have this stuff here, this plant that is not doing well, but you know what? It has died or, you know, lost all its leaves before and I was able to revive it and it was thriving a few months ago. So I have, I have faith that we can do it again. So I'm not, I'm not giving up on her. So yeah, I'm bringing this stuff. All of these cabinets in the kitchen are completely empty, I think. Let me double check. Oh, <laughs> I still have two pots under here. Let me grab those. Obviously, when I come back to do the final cleaning next week, I'm gonna like very thoroughly look through every cabinet and make sure that I have all of my stuff out of here. The bathroom's all empty. It's just some like cleaning stuff. Empty under there, tub is empty. When I come to clean, I'm gonna bring my drill and I'll take down those shelves and I have to take down the curtains. They are so filthy, I cannot cut. And they look even worse on camera than they do in person. It's really disgusting. This place, like for me, not being in here and cleaning on a regular basis, it is so dusty and disgusting. This is all empty. Now what I need to tackle is the balcony because I haven't touched anything out here. So this whole closet needs to be packed up. Most of it is just in those bins, which is nice. So I can just kind of grab it and throw it in the car. Okay, the car is pretty much all filled up. I'm bringing this box and then these two pillows and I have a tote bag around my shoulder, but this is all that's left. Just those storage bins, the beach chairs, and then the big furniture, obviously the rugs too. So dresser, coffee table, couch, chair, nightstand, bed, dresser. So when I come back later this week with my friends with the U-Haul, we're gonna grab that stuff. That should all fit in the truck in one trip. And then that'll be it. And honestly, I was a little sad in the beginning of this process because it's kind of bittersweet. Like I'm excited to move into the new place, obviously, but it's sad saying goodbye to this apartment, but the emptier it gets, it doesn't feel like home to me anymore. It just feels like a gross, dusty 
apartment. So that's kind of nice. And I think doing this gradually has helped with that process as well because it's been a slower transition. But I'm gonna bring this last bit of stuff down and head back home. I like officially can call that place home now. Okay, I'm back. I brought up some stuff. There's still a lot in the car, but I'm just gonna bring it up in trips and kind of break it up so that way it's not so overwhelming. But this is what I picked up from Target. It's from Studio McGee, and I got this to put on the table. That is so cute. I love it, it's so pretty. And it's like the perfect size, cause everything else that I had was small and it just looked weird. That is literally the perfect size for that table. Anyway, I'm going to unpack this first round of stuff I brought up, then go down, get more, unpack it, you know, all that, and then we're gonna clean. By the way, as I'm doing this, I have been listening to Risa Tisa's story time that has gone viral on TikTok. She's just telling the whole long story about how she met and married a pathological liar. It's crazy and I feel terrible for her but at the same time it's like it's an entertaining story and it like I can just throw it on like a podcast she has a playlist so it like auto plays the next part so I'm gonna be listening to the rest of that while I put this stuff away <laughs> of the vlog is sponsored by dirt devil thank you so much to them for working with me again i have the multi-surface total pet vacuum having a dog that sheds a lot i need a good powerful vacuum that can get his hair up especially off of the rugs and the carpets in the bedrooms and this vacuum has been amazing and i also love how lightweight it is so it's easy to move around so i just wiped down the countertops now i'm going to vacuum out here with the dirt devil multi-surface pet plus upright vacuum you can get a high performance clean on both hard floors and carpets and the best part is it's at an affordable price. You can pick up large debris, fine particles, and deeply embedded dirt. It has a pet tool kit that's designed to help easily remove pet hair. It also has a four level height adjustment to clean on varying floor types. You guys know I have my dog Benny, and when I tell you he sheds a lot, that is an understatement. Especially now that I have this new apartment with so much hard floors, it's like tumbleweeds of his hair. And I need a good vacuum that is going to be powerful enough to actually suck the hair up and not just blow it around. There is nothing more annoying to me than that. So I love this vacuum. It's powerful. But like I said, it's also really lightweight. It's easy to use. I love all of the attachments that come with it. And I just love that Dirt Devil, as a brand in general, makes great products, but it's all really affordable. So if you have been in need of a good vacuum, especially if you have pets that shed and you need one that's good for getting all the pet hair, highly recommend that vacuum. I will have a link in the description. And thank you so much again to Dirt Devil for sponsoring a portion of this video. All that is left as far as chores go is put my laundry away. I have a full basket in the closet of clean clothes. Are you a little stinky boy? Are you a little bit stinky? <laughs> Are you stinky? <laughs> Are you getting your hair all over the place? Are you making the place dirty? It doesn't even matter because you're just so handsome. You're so handsome. I just had to feature some Benny time because I know you guys 
You're always requesting to see more of him, so there you go. But now, let's put these clothes away for real. said that she needs to stop lying, none of that's true. Here is how my lashes look after the lift and tint. My lid's a little bit stained, but I can't get them wet for 24 hours, so it always looks a little bit dark the first day, but sorry I didn't vlog and wasn't like talking to the camera. After the last thing I had recorded when I was putting my clothes away, then I took Benny out for a walk, came back and made dinner, was doing some editing, texting back and forth with clients, and then my boyfriend called me. So I was like, okay, well, while I'm on the phone with him, I may as well do my lashes. But I got some new supplies, like new glue and a tool to like separate them and lift them up onto the rods. And I swear this was the fastest and easiest process ever. I had been wanting to do this for months, but I kept putting it off because normally it's just so tedious. Like getting the rods to stick, gluing the lashes to the rods, like it's just a pain. But the glue that I got recently, incredible. Like it worked so well. Normally I have such a hard time and like the rods are popping off. This held it down immediately. It was so fast and easy and it just stayed really secure and it was just such a smooth process. So let me know if you guys would be interested because I did do a tutorial a couple years ago now on how I do my lashes at home, but I feel like I'm due for an updated version. So I don't know. If you're interested, let me know. And if people are, then I can do another video. But yeah, now it just looks, like if you look from the side, it looks like I use an eyelash curler and put mascara on. But they're just gonna be like that all the time. It's very nice. I feel like it just adds a little something. And then tomorrow I am getting my brows laminated. I was gonna just do it myself, but my coworker did them for me a few months ago and I just really, really liked how she did them. So I'm just gonna have her do them because I know they're gonna be good. And then I am getting my nails done because they're just getting really grown out and I have cracks. I don't know if you can see that, but there is a crack in my thumbnail and I have another one on the other thumb. So hopefully she can seal that up for me. And I'm so pissed. I don't know what is going on. I just finished my period. So I don't know if this is hormonal or what. So I'm gonna do this pixie spot solution, zero zit. This stuff usually works pretty good. And I washed my face before I did my lashes. So my skin is already clean. I'm just gonna put this on the breakouts. It's weird too that it's all just on one side of my face. So I'm not really sure what caused that, but doing a little Ola Henriksen Banana Bright eye cream. I feel really good because I got everything done that I wanted to do today. Tomorrow I'm gonna be at the salon pretty much all day between getting my own stuff done and then I have two clients and then I'm recording my podcast when I get home. So it's gonna be a busy day. And by the way, if you're new, it's the Nivea cream. I always do that 
every night. I've been doing it for years. Nice thick layer on my face. Obviously, I avoided or tried to avoid where I put the spot treatment, and that is literally all I do. I don't do a bunch of serums and like night creams and all that fancy stuff. Oh, and I'm gonna do some lash serum too. I do this every night, the Grande Lash Serum. It's my little quick nighttime skincare routine. I'm gonna get to bed though because it is 11 p.m. I will see you in the morning. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I am getting ready to go to the salon. Like I said, getting my brows done, getting my nails done, and then I have two of my own clients. The first one, she needs a color correction. So she's just coming in for her first appointment today. I'm gonna look at her hair, do a test strand. We're gonna do a CPR treatment to pull out as much of her previous artificial color and then see what her hair looks like after that. And depending on how it reacts to the test strands and everything, then figure out a game plan from there. Because the thing with color corrections, you really never know what is going to happen or what results are going to be possible. It really just depends on how strong and healthy the client's hair is and what they've done to it previously, how many times they've done whatever color they have. So I always tell people that are looking for a color correction, they have to come in person first. We have to do a test strand and start with a color remover before we can even talk about what the process is gonna be like and what our end goal is gonna be because I just don't even like to make any promises or get anyone's hopes up. So that should be interesting. Hopefully it goes well. And then my second client is just a haircut. And then when I get back home, I am recording the podcast. And I'm looking forward to that because we are going to be discussing Love is Blind. And it's been such a good season. Oh, and I finished the Risa Tisa story time. It was a crazy, crazy story. I'll link her TikTok in the description if you haven't seen it or you don't know what I'm talking about. But, ooh, it was so good. And... People had leaked, like they found the man, cause she kept everything anonymous, but people did some internet sleuthing and they found him. And I was kind of curious to see like who he was and what he looked like. I'm so happy because the weather is warming up. So this is my outfit for the day. Doing a little bit of a Canadian tuxedo, sort of with the denim on denim. These jeans are the 94 baggy Levi's. And then this jacket is from American Eagle, and the bodysuit underneath is from Target. Look, I can do my mirror shots again now, but it's so much more clear. Look at that background. Oh, beautiful. I mean, minus the air mattress, but beautiful. Love it. So I will see you at the salon. You guys, there were so many different colors happening in her hair. I don't know if you can tell from these clips, but she had bands on bands on bands and then these like neon colored money pieces. It was intense. So I did a CPR color remover treatment, left it to process for 45 minutes under heat. This is what it looked like. It faded the color a decent amount in some spots, but it was still... A hot mess and then this is the test strand that I had did with 20 volume bleach it got pretty light but the integrity did not hold up it was just snapping off when I would try to tug on it so <laughs> my brows look insane right now <laughs> I swear they like got darker as time went on tomorrow once I can wash my face they're gonna be so good I just they just, it gets them so fluffy and full and she did like a warm brown tint, but yeah, sorry I didn't record much today. It ended up being so hectic. I thought today was going to be an easy, smooth day. I was going to get home by like 5.30 at the latest. I was going to have time to like do all this stuff, record the podcast, do some more editing, take Benny for a walk, make dinner. No. That color correction, as you saw, oh, wow. She had submitted photos and we were texting back and forth but the pictures 
I don't know. I need to go back and look at them again because I don't know if it was the lighting or the angle or what, but like her hair, I did not expect it to look quite like that when she came in. Whew, there were so many bands in it and so many different colors. And I did the CPR treatment on her just to pull as much of it out as I could and kind of see what we would be left with. And I thought because the front pieces, the ends were so blonde, so it looked like it you know, had faded over time. So I thought, okay, well, the top part, that pinkish red should, if not completely come out, but like a good amount should, but it was just so resistant. The test strand, I told her, it, I tried to pull on it and it was just snapping. I was like, yeah, I don't think bleaching your hair is a good idea. And she was fantastic. Both of my clients tonight were amazing. And she was, you know, so understanding which I'm so grateful for. That's always the most nerve wracking part with color corrections is like when you have someone that's just doesn't trust you and is just being really stubborn and has unrealistic expectations. So I was like, blonde is off the table, at least for the foreseeable future. But you know, we could probably do like a coppery kind of color, like maybe like my color or like a, a chocolate brown or something. Her hair just wouldn't even accept the toner. like. I put toner on it and it didn't change it at all. I did two different toners, nothing. So then I ended up blow drying her hair and applying permanent color on her dry hair. But the thing is, I had only booked two hours for her because I thought that we were just doing the color, you know, the clarifying treatment. And then I was gonna just throw a toner to like even it out from there, haircut, that's it, and then, you know, the test strand so we can kind of see what we would do for the next appointment. I did not expect there to be that intense, stubborn pink. So, yeah, it ended up taking way longer, and then my haircut client got there, and I was like, crap, like, I didn't have an assistant to help me, and I was like, I don't know, I, I can't, like, the timing is not working out where you know, one person can process while I do something else. Like somebody is gonna have to just be sitting and waiting for me. And I hate doing that. I really, really hate that. But that's just, it just happens sometimes. Like that's the thing with color corrections. You, you don't know, like I wasn't anticipating that. It ended up working out, finished everybody, totally forgot to get an after clip. I didn't even end up because at that point she had kind of a long drive home. So she told me not to bother blow drying her entire head so I just did like the sides in the front so we could see the color and it came out good like a nice brown a little bit darker because she had like some stubborn red up top so I just kind of did like a color melt a little bit darker brown up top into like a chocolatey brown on the ends and because it was bleached in the front those pieces stayed a little bit lighter so it looked it looked good, like we, I evened out the bands, so I was there a lot longer than I expected, and then because I was running behind, I didn't have time to like clean as I go, so then once I was done, I had a big mess to clean up, which is the worst. All I ate today was oatmeal this morning for breakfast, and I don't have anything that I can just heat up. And I was like, I am not about, I still had to record the podcast. I was like, I am not about to cook dinner. So I stopped at McDonald's and I got some nuggets and a McFlurry and I recorded the podcast. And now it is almost 10 o'clock and I'm finally done for the day. So I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my McFlurry and go to bed. <laughs> so I will see you in the morning. Good morning, it is Thursday. I didn't vlog anything yesterday because it was my friend Haley's birthday and I had the day off and I was just hanging out with her. We also have some mutual friends that are in town staying at her place. So I just spent the day with them, hung out during the day, went out to dinner last night. It was just a nice chill day, but I didn't want to vlog anything. I was just trying to be in the moment, but this morning, we are going to get the U-Haul truck and we are finally finishing this move. It has just been such a long process and while it's been good and I've been enjoying sharing the process cause like I, 
There's parts to moving that I really do enjoy and I personally love watching moving vlogs. So I really wanted to share a lot of moving content, but now I'm at the point where I'm like, okay, I'm ready to just be done. Cause it's just been this thing that's been like lingering over my head, knowing that I need to get everything out of my old place. And here's my brows now that I was able to wash them. They're super full and fluffy. I love them. I know they're not everyone's taste and that's totally fine, but I really like them. I do kind of wish they were a little bit warmer. I wish there was a little more red in them, but next time I think I'll just do the tint myself and I'll just use the same hair color that I put on my hair. But I don't know if you can see that. Like, look at my roots already growing in. Crazy. Here's also how my lashes look with the lift and tint. So you see how they're just super lifted and it kind of looks like I have mascara on, but I don't have anything. I'm going to go pick up my friends. They are all going to help me, which I am so appreciative for their help. And I'm going to get dressed really quick, go pick up my friends, go pick up the U-Haul, head to the old apartment finally get this over with my amazing movers we did it it's finally done well 99.9% .9 so we got all this furniture here the balcony is full of stuff and my mattress is here we got this dresser in here that nightstand. I messed up because I slept in, waited till the last minute, and then I was rushing and completely forgot and just didn't think to bring my drill or screwdriver or anything like that. So we weren't able to bring my bed frame in the U-Haul because there wasn't enough room. We were going to just bring it down in one piece, but it's a really cheap bed frame that I got from Walmart and it's you know, a little flimsy. They were afraid that if they tried to bring it down in one piece and tried like shoving it in the U-Haul, because we had the U-Haul, I got just the smallest size truck and it was perfect because it literally fit everything. Like it was nice and snug, fully packed. And we might've been able to fit the bed frame, but I don't know. It was like a very tight squeeze and they were afraid it was gonna break, so. We came back here, unloaded everything, dropped off the truck, and then went back and took the bed frame apart, but we were all in my car. It obviously would not have fit with four people in the car. I don't have to turn the keys in until next week, so I'm going to go back at some point. I am just so grateful to my friends for helping me. It ended up being a lot easier and way quicker than I was expecting. They also helped me take everything off of the walls, like everything that was mounted, like the curtains and the shelves I had in the bathroom. So now literally all I have to do, they, oh, they even helped me take the garbage out, like angels of friends that I have. I'm so grateful. So literally all I have to do, I just have my cleaning stuff there. So I'm just going to do a quick clean and give them the keys and then that's it. I dropped them back off at their place. They're all just going to kind of like nap and chill. I'm feeling really tired now too. So I might make myself a coffee or actually I'm just going to get a Celsius and I am going to unpack all of this stuff and put it all away. Hopefully it shouldn't take me too long. Oh, and I also got a package. This is the last thing that I bought for the apartment. I got an end table to put next to the couch. So we're getting there. We're finally wrapping it up. So I'm gonna throw on some music and we're gonna time lapse and I'm gonna get all this stuff put away.
Okay, I have made pretty good progress. You know, unpacked a bunch of boxes. Everything over there is stuff that is gonna go in the balcony closet. So I still need to sort through that stuff. I'm saving that for last, but I got all of these drawers filled and organized. How satisfying is that? Oh, love to see it. And I also put the drawers back in that dresser, so that is good. Still need to put this stuff away, but in here, this extra nightstand that I had in the old bedroom, I am putting in here, and this is where I'm gonna keep all of my extra equipment for filming and, you know, recording content and whatnot. So I'm gonna put all of like my tripods and lighting and mic stands and all that stuff in here in this closet because this room is eventually going to become my office and i piled up all the boxes that are now empty but i want to take a little break from that for a second i got this is what it is going to look like when it's all assembled and this is the finish of it so i have to put this together but I got just a little end table to go on the side of the couch. That is gonna fit perfectly, and I feel like it'll tie the room together and like just complete it. I feel like if I stop now, I'm gonna be real tempted to take a nap, and it's 5.30 now. I think I'm meeting back up with my friends sometime around dinner time, so probably within the next like two hours or so, so. I feel like I may as well just keep going at least for like another hour and then I can stop and like shower, change, all that kind of stuff. And I think in an hour I can probably get everything put away. So that person that got on camera a little while ago and was like, yeah, I should get everything done in the next hour and then I'll go shower and get ready and go out with my friends. I don't know who that was, but it is now, 8:45, and i'm basically done for the most part but yeah i went through all of those bins that i keep on the balcony closet those have all of my holiday decor like christmas fall extra apartment decor so they got really unorganized so i went through and pulled everything out of all of those bins and then reorganized everything and put it all away neatly. It was a lot. Let me let me show you how everything's looking. This is now all of the boxes. I don't think I have a single cardboard box left. So that is it, the final round of boxes. So now the living room is all clear. That I need to put out on the balcony closet. I think I might want to get those like heavy duty shelves, you know, that people put in their garage. So it's a decent size closet, but it's very tall. And as you can see, I mean, it is completely filled to the brim. So if I have to pull anything out from here, it's going to be kind of a pain. So if I can get one of those shelving units then I feel like I can utilize the height in here a little bit better. Oh, and I need to get another one of these bins for the stuff in here. And here's how it looks out here. <laughs> you like your chair? I gotta hang those lights up. Oh, I also put this table together. So I love how that tone of wood matches the coffee table perfectly and it also matches those stools over there so it kind of all ties together and yeah everything just fit perfectly i love the size of this room so i put my chair over there and it's kind of a mess over here those are the curtains that i'm gonna hang up i'm gonna wait for my friend to come over maybe tomorrow and help me because i cannot reach it is way too high and then i don't think i recorded any of this but I brought my bedroom rug in here, brought my mattress in here. Like I said, I don't have the bed frame. I'm gonna go get that maybe tomorrow, but I'm so excited to have my mattress again. So needless to say, I am not gonna be going out tonight and my friends aren't going out anymore anyway. They're all feeling tired. So I was like, that's perfect because I just wanted to get everything done now i just want to relax and i'm so excited it's been weeks since i've been able to sit on my couch so i just want to curl up on the couch i'm about to make myself 
some tea and I'm gonna lay on the couch and I am going to get caught up on Love is Blind. But I think I'm going to wrap up this vlog here because I'm gonna have a lot going on over the weekend and I just wanna start a new vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. The next one will be the official final moving vlog and I will have everything completely done. All the little final touches will be hung and I will give you the full, well, I don't think the, the office isn't going to be done, but everything else will. So I will give you a full apartment tour then. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you really soon in my next video. Bye.